We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I... Do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodging bastard! <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh! That's it. That's it? Good. Now, release! Still unpleasant. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Russell does eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just, just, there. That should do it. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first! <laughs> Case you takes a joke, you old goat! <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first! Come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know I'm at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist, and the grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa, do you feel that? What's that like? Anything, e everything. It's warm. <laughs> Whoa! One less. Could probably use his boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, uh... lad. Why are these things so fast? I see we're already off to a lively start. Atreus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here. 
against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. You never asked mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Uh, did you see that over there? Channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? It's pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Tyr was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the Rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brasser, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. The doc may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Come on, there's got to be a faster way to get down there.
Okay. There's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Yeah. about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartelfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfarm? Aye, lad. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Father, up there. <laughs> Find anything good up there? Yeah! 
Cap those guys are... Yes! The wheel's moving and the gate's coming down. Hot war of an ingenuity for ya. Back to the boat. Dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri. It's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. See what it draw. Father, up there. Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. You can uncover that geyser from here. Oh, 
I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. <laughs> nice one. The block's coming down. Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tears in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. <laughs> that earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of you, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh... Running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Could we talk to you for... We don't want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sentry! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Ah.
there. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in neither Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. At your service. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? What can I make for you? Everything all right? Hey, what happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Be safe. <laughs> best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. They're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive.
A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp witch she had until she turned to the subtle means of resistance. <laughs> This looks promising. Right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, It Andrew. is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. 
Mamiya, why do the dwarves hate you? Ah, oh, in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I helped build some mining rigs. What about them? They're a mistake of mine, from quite a long time ago. If you've got the time, I'd have us turn them off. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Namir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Hey, it's another one of those geysers. But huge. Maybe we could check it out later. We can see it fine from here. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. It's got to be the right spot. Those barrels. I smell fuel. Bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. <laughs> I think we could break through the ground here. If you found a high enough place to drop from.
Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. <laughs> the Ein Yar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. Oh! Uh. 
The ring's likely chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. Why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfime ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. These rigs come to be. I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot.
gonna keep it spatter-free this time, right? Kratos? Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. Another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke? Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Wow. There's a lot to explore here. Had a nice day out of Midgard for a bit, huh? Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. Oh! 